Hi everyone, I am Madhuri Bhamadipati from the University of Florida. I am from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. For the course Pattern Recognition, I have chosen Speaker Recognition as my project topic. Well, there are many several types of recognition such as Gate Recognition, Speaker Recognition, Hand Geometry, Fingerprint and so on. So, where can we find all these like in our daily lives? Yeah, of course. Speaker recognition is a technique where it makes it possible to identify the speaker's voice from a several set of other speaker voices and you know in turn find out the identity and the control axis for many services. Speaker recognition is very secure and protects us from any unwanted or malicious users. Speaker recognition is widely used in like many applications. In fact, in our daily use, the main example which you can see in our daily use is Siri which has been most popular among the mobile users like Google Voice. So that has motivated me to choose the project speaker recognition for my coursework. Well, in my project, I have built an algorithm which detects the speaker among a given set of various other speakers. I have chosen two techniques, namely pitch analysis and formant analysis. So, after I have completed my literature survey, I have divided my project into various sections. Initially, I have performed the pitch analysis, then the formant analysis, and finally the waveform comparison for both the results obtained from the pitch analysis and the formant analysis. Well, now let's go through the different algorithms which are implemented for both these techniques that is the pitch analysis and the formant analysis. Here is the algorithm for pitch analysis. We have a database of 82 speech files and a reference file. The files are all read and eventually the pitch is calculated and finally the average pitch of all the signals is calculated. In the speech files which I have taken, few have Gaussian noise also. So let's have a look at the formant analysis as well. Well, in this algorithm, the power spectral density of each speech signal is calculated and the difference between consecutive spectrums are calculated and hence we can find out the peaks. Well, after the results have been obtained, from pitch analysis and the formant analysis, the waveform comparison is done between both the techniques. Here the code compares the difference file with all the others based on the average pitch. In my algorithm, I have designed it in such a way that the top 12 matches are then compared with the differences on their formant peak vectors. So, coming to the implementation, I have coded all the algorithms for all these techniques in MATLAB. During the implementation, I have concluded that by using pitch analysis, the number of trained files to be compared has been a lot reduced relatively to the formant analysis, whereas eventually the formant analysis has produced more accurate results. 
and let me walk you through the MATLAB implementation of my code. So here is the database of my 82 files and these are the algorithms which I have written performance analysis, for pitch analysis and these are the supporting files which I have used for the pitch analysis implementation. Due to the time constraint, I would directly go to the execution of the code. Well, this is an email algorithm and let me run. So that was the implementation of my code. As you have observed, it has iterated through all the 82 files which were in the database provided. And here is the list of the top 12 matches. Well, the reference file used was 17th audio file, which is A17. And as you can see, the result has been populated for that. Well, these are the set of results obtained. So that was my implementation. And as you could see, the graphs have been obtained for the pitch analysis and the formant analysis for all the top 12 matches. And once the graphs were obtained, I've done a waveform comparison between all the 12 matches. Let's get back to the graphs and the remaining presentation. So that was the implementation of my MATLAB code. Well, these are the graphs obtained for the pitch analysis and the formant analysis. You can see clearly that the formant analysis is more accurate. And now let's see the waveform comparison between both these techniques. Well, this is the waveform comparison for all the 12 matches here you can observe that there's they are displayed in the ascending order hence i conclude here with the results so let's have a quick summary speaker recognition was recognized as in it was implemented using different techniques like pitch analysis and format analysis and the waveform comparison has been done for the different matches like the top 12 matches among the database of 82 files and eventually they were determined with respect to a reference file in an ascending order so the formant analysis has produced more accurate results which you have earlier seen in the graphs populated. As I have already mentioned, speaker recognition has several applications in our daily lives like home applications, automobile systems, telephone and several other domains and most mainly the military as well. Here are a quick list of the advantages of speech recognition. They are of course faster than the handwriting. You could 
use speech recognition for multitasking purposes like for example you are on a road trip all alone and you want to convey some better message some message to your family or something rather than just taking your your mobile phone and putting up efforts typing the message you can just use the voice option and that has been made possible only due to the speech recognition techniques which we have in our daily lives it allows for better spelling and it's hands free well that was my project on speech recognition and these are the differences which i have used for the implementation of my algorithms and my project thank you for taking your time hope you have a good time and had an insight on the various techniques thank you all